Hello, everyone. I'm happy to present to you today about computer vision on the edge, individual cat identification in real time with the Read My Cow system. My name is Monique Smink. I'm an undergraduate researcher at the University of Wisconsin Madison. Listed here are my co authors, Hao Tian, Dursa, and Yongjie. First, let's talk a bit about the background for our research. Precision livestock farming, or the rearing of livestock while informed by electronic sensors, tools, and methods, is spreading rapidly worldwide. The reasons for this are very intuitive. With livestock monitoring, a producer is able to take earlier, more informed decisions. This benefits the animals and also has been shown to improve the farmer lifestyle. Although PLF certainly involves other livestock animals, in our research, we will focus on cattle. As data-driven farming continues to grow, researchers have started to explore AI's effect on precision livestock farming. One area of livestock rearing that AI can contribute to is cattle disease and behavior recognition. Many AI models exist in this area, recognizing things such as heat, claw lesions, respiratory disease, mastitis, and lameness. However, how do we go from recognizing that a cow is diseased to recognizing which cow is diseased? For that, we need to talk about the individual identification of cattle. The industry standard for recognizing an individual animal on a PLF farm is RFID tags or radio frequency ID tags. These are little buttons that transmit a small radio signal. The problem with these buttons is that they have a very limited range of about 8 to 12 inches or 20 to 30 centimeters, making long range identification fairly limited. And they suffer from signal interference from metal objects such as fans and gates, which are abundant in farm environments. Another cow identification method is by a visual identification tag, usually displaying a two to six digit number. These numbers are fairly familiar to the farmer and visible from longer distances than the RFID tags. However, as cow ears are not always facing forward, in some situations they may not be visible. Several AI approaches have been made to recognize cattle based on their body markings or facial shape. However, these methods are not scalable to large indus industrial cattle production environments with more than 1,000 animals. So, given these approaches, how do we scale to huge cattle environments with more than 5,000 animals? How do we identify a cow from further away? How do we adjust to a farm environment? Rural, far rural farms rarely have a solid Wi-Fi connection and almost never have any form of computational resource available to run heavy computer vision models. How do we adjust our methods to the cows themselves, accounting for dirt, occlusion, or moving animals? Let's discuss our approach. First, we decide to base our system on visual ear tags. This is easily scalable to larger farms, transferable between farms, and familiar to the farmer, making the system easier to adopt. And finally, the system has the potential to work more reliably at longer distances. Next, our pipeline is split up into two general steps. First, a tag is detected and tracked, then a tag is read. This separation of steps allows us to have more control over the system. This control allows us to skip certain steps when they might be unnecessary or inaccurate, speeding up the system. Next, to address cow motion or tag occlusion, we will perform what we define as video-based recognition. This means that we predict a tag based on a, based on a sequence of frames. Essentially, we take advantage of having a video to get better overall readings. An image-based recognition system, on the other hand, would predict a tag reading only based on the current frame. It would read the tag as it is in that moment. This means an image-based system would be fooled by occlusion, dirt, or movement. For example, an image-based recognition would read the tag on the right as 3615. A video-based recognition system could wait for a frame where the whole tag was in view and return the correct tag value of 361533. Our video-based recognition system tries to find and maintain the best reading of a tag, when the tag is the least blurry, least occluded, least dirty, etc. We accomplish this through our novel When to Read module, the details of which will be expanded in a later slide. An important note is that the recognition must happen in real time, as cows tend to display their ear tags for less than a second, making every frame in a video important to analyze. Finally, to make our, more, our system portable to a farm environment with no Wi-Fi and no computational resources, we use edge computing. We implement our system on a smaller device, which doesn't need Wi-Fi to function, and has its own GPU. For our experiments, the Read My Cow system was implemented on a Jetson AGX Xavier and Orin. To make our system function in real time, the system did have to be carefully implemented. Let's go over the Read My Cow system's detection pipeline. For a single input video frame, it first enters the tag detection step. The preliminary detection model detects each ear tag from the video frame. Then the tag tracking model assigns a tracking ID to each of the ear tag instances, depending on whether the model has seen this tag before in previous frames. Next, the frame enters the tag reading step, where the best reading for each tag is found according to the when to read module. The details of the when to read module will be expanded upon, but to summarize, each tag is either read anew using the text recognition model, or a previous reading of the tag is forwarded according to the information from previous frames. The tag reading is aggregated to the tag bounding box, and an output frame is returned. Let's discuss the models used at each step of the pipeline. 
and the tag detection step, the model used for preliminary detection is the YOLO V5S model from Ultralytics. This model was chosen for lightweightness and inference speed. The model was fine-tuned using a custom-made dataset. The images came from three Midwest cattle farms with more than 30,000 animals combined. The model was trained using stochastic gradient descent for 100 epochs. The final MIP of the YOLO model at an IO threshold of 0.5 was 0.839. The model used for tracking of tag detections was a pre-trained multi-object tracking layer developed by NVIDIA in their DeepStream library. In the tag reading step, the model used for text recognition is a pre-trained scene text recognition model with a thin plate spine input image normalizer, a ResNet feature extractor, a bidirectional long short-term memory sequence modeler, and an attention-based sequence predictor. This model was chosen for its state-of-the-art accuracy. The model was fine-tuned using a custom-made dataset. These images came from cropping out the tags from the preliminary detection dataset from the previous slide. The model was trained using an added delta optimizer for 3,000 iterations. The final accuracy of the text recognition model was 75.16%. Now let's discuss the specifics of the when to read module. The when to read module is the key to making the read my cow system function in real time. The goal of the when to read module is to maintain the best reading for each tracked ear tag while still operating at real time speeds. It does this by skipping the time consuming tag reading step when the current frame will not yield a better reading than what has been stored. A decision metric decides when a tag will be read anew. For each track tag from the tag detection step, the decision metric is calculated. If the track tag ID is not in storage, this tag has never been seen before. The tag will be read for the first time, the resulting tag reading will be stored, and this reading will be returned as the official tag reading for this track tag. If the track ID is in storage, it has been read before. Thus, the new and old decision metrics will be compared. If the new detection's decision metric is significantly better than the stored detections, the new detection will be read anew, the stored values will be updated, and the new tagging, tag reading will be used. If the new decision, detection's decision metric is not significantly better than the stored detections, the tag recognition model will be skipped entirely, and the old reading will be used. Now, how does the when to read module impact the system? Does it allow the system to operate in real time? Does it allow the models to stay accurate? To test these questions, an ablation study was done comparing the system with and without the when to read module. First, let's look at the speed of the system. The table on the right shows the average FPS of the different variations of the system. As you can see, the when to read module more than doubles the FPS of the system over variations without the module, making the average speed about 25 frames per second. Next, let's look at the accuracy of the system. The second table on the right shows the accuracy results of different variations of the system. As you can see, the when to read module does not significantly change the accuracies of the system, even slightly improving it. Overall, the when to read, read module is able to more than double the speed of the system without losing its accuracy. This makes excellent steps towards our goal of being able to function accurately in a real cattle production environment. So we've proven the when to read module is a good addition to the read my cow system, but how well does the overall system do exactly? The table on the left shows the final read my cow system results. In a one hour video of the tags that are printed, the system was able to accurately read 96.1% of them. Meanwhile, of tags that were handwritten, the system was able to accurately, accurately read 54.6% of them, bringing the overall accuracy down to 84.2%. The model's performance on handwritten tags was rather remarkable, as handwritten tags were rare in the training datasets. Overall, we found that the Read My Cow system works extremely well on the good quality printed tags that are visible. The current limitations with the Read My Cow system stem from two things. First, tag accuracy is lost due to cow behavior. When cows never show their ear tags, then the model cannot identify them. Second, tag accuracy is lost due to ear tag quality. Tags that were handwritten, tags that had uncentered numbers, tags that were blent, bang, blank, or dirty, tags that had notches taken out of them for various reasons. These are examples of tags the system had a hard time with. Some things we could do in the future to improve these limitations would be to have multiple cameras to catch both the front and side of the cattle. This would help with the cows never showing their ears. In addition, having more data of tags of lesser quality would improve the robustness of the text recognition model. To conclude, the Read My Cow system can accurately identify cattle in real time in a real world environment. The best tag reading is maintained for each track tag. This means the costly text recognition step can be skipped when the current frame will not yield a better reading. This allows the system to run in real time at 25 frames per second on an edge device. This edge device can run the system without Wi-Fi or external computation resources and is thus more portable to real cattle production environments. This system has many potential applications. The Read My Cow system opens opportunities for informed, data-driven decision-making on commercial cattle farms. This has many benefit benefits for animal, farmer, and consumer alike. I'd like to thank you all for listening, and if you'd like to take a look at our paper, the QR code or link in the corner will take you there.
Thank you.